Happy Friday, guys. Welcome to the I Love Seville Show. My name is Jerry Miller. It's great to be with you. It's gorgeous outside. It is gorgeous inside here at our I Love Seville studios on Market Street in downtown Charlottesville. Gentlemen in the house, we got three of them, and these guys are going to have a hell of a good time, and we're going to have a hell of a good time entertaining you um, on a Friday as we inch closer to happy hour to Friday night and the weekend, baby. Daryl Rose in the house. Greg Ward in the house. Brian Festa in the house. We're going to welcome them to the program in a matter of moments. Give the show a like and a share on any of the channels that you're watching this program on. I want to thank some of the fantastic sponsors that make this program possible. First, we will give some love to one of our favorite clients. It's Interstate Pest and Service Company. Since 1969, this four-generation strong business has made Charlottesville, Central Virginia, and the Commonwealth a better place for all of us. Started in 1969 with the first generation, Mr. Wells. He had a truck and a dream to build a company. Today, it's four generations of family strong, almost 100 employees, and a commonwealth-wide footprint. And for that, we salute them. We give some love to the good Dr. Scott Wagner. Scott Wagner, chiropractic and sports medicine. Chiropractic care, physical therapy, sports medicine. Dr. Wagner is changing people's lives. Who's got your back? Dr. Wagner's got your back. Harris Tolbert's the director of this program. Ladies and gentlemen, teamwork to make the dream work especially in live programming, yes, uh, especially when you're, wor you're working a board and keeping the audio and sound levels on point. Harris Tolver, I love you, homie. Let's go to the studio cam. And let's welcome the fellas to the show. Um, three sharp, three dapper, three <laughs> talented musicians in the house. Greg Ward, Brian Festa, and Daryl Rose. We will start with the man, the myth, the legend, Greg Ward. I'm going to ask you, before we get to music, to put yourself into personal perspective. The man. Uh, the passions, the hobbies, the interests, what you love about being above the mud, my friend? Uh, good question, Jerry. Uh, I enjoy life as a whole. I enjoy seeing uh, people smile, bringing smiles to their faces, knowing that we uh, as individuals can choose to wake up every day and give thanks and be able to bring a smile to each other. Um, I love discovering truth. Right In this world of uh, craziness and uh, so much deception and illusion, it's good to seek out truth and uh, see if we could bring that to the people in good vibes, you know what I mean, through music. So that's what I love. And I love my kids and I love my lady. So. I love that. Mm. I love that answer right there. Give him a like and a share on any of the channels you're watching. He certainly deserves it. Brian, my boy, who is yes. Brian Festa? Talk to us, baby. Brian Festa is a world percussionist. I'm a massage therapist in Seville here. I lived in the Bay Area for the past eight years. I've traveled many, many places to learn many, many things, musically and otherwise. And I moved to Seville because I love this area of the world. I think these mountains are very special. And in the future, I plan to buy some land and create a residency retreat for, designed specifically for musicians to come and stay in their own little places and just focus and do what they do best. I yeah. love that answer. Yeah. Love that. Terry Cadell, Ray Cadell, Big Ray and the Cool Cats watching right now. Lauren, I see you, girl. Thank you for watching the program. Give us a like, give us a share. Daryl, 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 Daryl Rose. Pleasant good afternoon, maestro. It's good to be with you, my friend. Uh, by some definitions uh, beyond the human experience, music, art, teaching, and sharing these gifts that have been bestowed upon me to be shared. The joy that others, and I see the joy that this brings to others and brings us together. The human strain, shall we say, is first, and how we treat one another. And so I love it. It's all about some joy, and like Greg Ward said, he's smiling now, uh, Grand yes. Brian's smiling, you know. And just thanks for the moment. Um, and. I came to Charlottesville in 1989 to play for one weekend, and guess where we are today? You stayed. Yes. You fell in love. Yeah. What was yeah. it? I loved, you know, the crossing after the mountain like at 6.30 or so in the morning with mm -hmm. the mist coming out of Nashville. I had a driver at the time. I was fortunate coming to mm -hmm. a place I'd never been before, and I was so well received. And, you know, since living here, God, I've been to Africa and Europe and all across Canada and the whole works. And that's another long, long, long story. But I love it. I can't wait honored. to hear you guys. Honored. Jay Wine and Keswick, welcome to the program. Mm -hmm. Give it a like, give it a share on any of the streams that you are watching. I'm going to thank Margaret Matthews for help making this, this show a possibility. Margaret, you rock. I'm truly grateful. Um, she is in the studio right now with us. Musical 
influences, and then I know my role on this show. My role on Fridays is to shut the hell up and let you guys do your thing, and that's play fantastic music. Before we do, Greg, I'm gonna ask each of you gentlemen this question. Musical influences in your life? Uh, musical influences. The biggest one overall, I would say, would be Bob Marley. Yeah. For mm -hmm. sure. When, uh, when I came across Bob in my early days, it uh, changed my life for sure. But uh, Otis Redding, um, Beatles, Pink Floyd, uh, Grateful Dead, you know, uh, all, taste. So, so many of the new uh, modern reggae artists that are out today, Morgan Heritage, Luciano, so really love music and good stuff out there today. I love it, I love it. Brian, what you got? That's a tough list to follow. You're asking me to pick children, man. It's, uh, <laughs> it's not easy. So off the top of my list, man, there's a really brilliant artist called Jacob Collier, uh, and he's from England. Uh, he's a brilliant brilliant uh, virtuosic musician of funk and fusion and jazz and amazing R&B influences as well. Uh, Esperanza Spalding is uh, really close to my heart as well. Bela Fleck and the Fleck Tones, oh, yeah. Snarky Puppy, um, just to name a few. Sarah Rodriguez says, big up fellas. Sarah. Folks watching in Charlotte, DC, in Nashville, and across Central Virginia, Daryl Rose, musical Let's influences. See. See. Oh gosh, I would like to start with John Lee Hooker, as in when I was a small young man mm, nice. in Nashville, Tennessee, but along the path of Ali Farka Touré, um, mm. when I first heard Miles Davis's album In a Silent Way in 1975, thereabouts, when I heard that music had changed how I listened to music, when I first in endeavored Bob Marley and the Whalers live in 78 at Vanderbilt University, I understood reggae better, and in this lifetime, I have toured with the Whalers for almost six years. And it's a whole list of other, but mainly, Greg Ward, your music, Brian, <laughs> your percussion, you see. Thank you. I love it, I love this guy. Nice. This, this guy's uh, the man. Uh, one of the most humble, wonderful musicians you'll ever meet. I love that, I love that. All right, gentlemen, um, I'm gonna get out of the way. The show is yours. You wanna take, uh, you wanna take the mic, and take the charge? Greg Ward. Anywhere you wanna go. Greg. Sure, sure, all right. So uh, this uh, first one we're going to do is an original song called Right Time, and hopefully it resonates with the uh, way people might be feeling these days. And basically the idea is it's the right time for all of us to declare our divine origination and declare that government's created by and for the people. You know, we've got to create more unity and more positive things in the world today. So. My brothers and sisters, you are divine. Good. Charlottesville. Right time. Well sent, and judgment is taking place, yo. And the system of greed is falling away. Right time for we ah. to declare our divine origination. Right time for we now government's going to fight for the people. My brothers and sisters. Before the Constitution, before the vow of dreadlock, the child created man, he created him free. All laws should reflect what is there naturally. The herb is the gift, the birthright from my Lord. The meat of paradise shall paradise restore. Healing all the nation, cannabis had to reveal. The herb is my 
my meat and my spiritual meal the right time before we eat to declare our divine origination the right time before we eat now come and speak to fire for the people Before the Constitution, before the vow of Jayhawk, when Jack created man, he created him free. All laws should reflect what is there naturally. Right time, right time, right time, right time. This, ladies and gentlemen, Positive Collective played Calfest at Alder Creek Farm last year. They are freaking awesome. Nice. Um, you got the folks at the Southern watching the show right now. Uh, let's give some love to some of our viewers. Ladies and gentlemen, we got folks in D.C., folks in across Charlottesville and Central Virginia. Norva Haskins says, you guys sound awesome. Thank you. Tell Margaret I said hello. Nice. That's from Norva Haskins. Give it a like. Give it a share. If you have a comment you want to relay to the band, put it in the chat box. I'll relay it to them. Carol Schwab Barnett, welcome to the program. Robert Gray, welcome to the program. John Updike, yes. Susan yeah. Watson, just to name a few. Yeah. Greg. Sure. Talk to us about that song, baby. It was money. Appreciate that, brother. Appreciate that. Yeah, man. Uh, to me, you know, when it comes down to the core, we're all we're all one, really. We're we're all looking to uh, survive, and and we want to be able to do well in life. And so, hopefully, we all want that for each other, right? And so, the political party thing is is just it's beyond that. You know, it's it's beyond that. It's a it's a situation where we need to look for a positive future and beyond all the bickering and the division. So that's what that song is about. Just people taking control of that thought process, you know, declaring themselves to be of a divine nature where, you know I mean, we could all see each other as uh, requiring and, 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 and deserving of the equality and the respect of each other, you know, do unto others as you want done unto you. Golden rule, baby. Yes, that's sir. what we're all about here. Yes, you sir. treat other people the same way you want to be treated yourself makes the world a better place. Yes. Janet Pitt Matthews Arso, am I saying that right? She's giving some props. I'm sorry. I just call her Janet. Janet says, whoop, whoop. You guys sound amazing. Awesome. Put the uh, comments in perspective you want to share with the band in the chat box. Brian, my boy, what do you like about that song? So I'm a rhythmist. Uh, believe it or not, when I hear words, sometimes they go in and then they go out. Uh, so when I'm focusing on the music, I focus on the feeling of the music and how much I'm contributing by playing and also by space. Well said. Damn, dude. You deep. You deep. Eve Hasselroff from Clay. Uh, Jim in Belmont's watching right now. Okay. Kay Ferguson. Alan Grossman, wow. Chris and Adams okay. Morgan, wow. Rod Ha okay. McChristy. Nice, <laughs> hey, I'm nice. messing some names up. What's I'm sorry. Daryl Rose, jump in here, baby. The, the big event, the big moment is to have two percussionists yes. <laughs> playing reggae. The great Bob Marley and his 11, 10 to 11 piece band always had two percussionists. It created that mood and the pulse and the heartbeat of, the, of what is called the Nyabengi drumming of Jamaica by way of Ethiopia, you see. 
So it's, each time to me, this is a big event. And to share it is even a bigger, bigger event. You know, Brian and I played, what, what yesterday? At two nights ago. Two nights ago, we just, yeah. we had a good time. We just, it was, it was a big event. That's what we <laughs> want it to be. Norva says, each one teach one from our spirit. Um, give it a like, give it a share. Daryl, you know what I love about you? Oh. Is you yeah. are such a talented musician. You also have like this like um, very approachable quality to you uh, that make people feel comfortable in your presence. Oh, bless you. I Talk to us about that. the teaching aspect of music. Wow, I think as a teacher, which I never sought out to be that, it was kind of something bestowed upon me by students that weren't students at the time for me to share my, the music. Each student is a different human being. Each student requires something different than the prior student who had needs as mm -hmm. a musician. And as to be able to have the comfort to receive knowledge and to, it's a, you know, the comfort is a big thing, you know, to share it and to like, we share the music. Um, Lori Mandichek, hey DR, keep speaking your wisdom, baby. She's giving you some props oh, right you, now. Ari. Uh, Greg, let me get you in the mix here. Sure. We get this comment coming in. I have never heard a white guy with a voice like this before. <laughs> you probably have heard that before. I appreciate that. Thank it you. sounds amazing. She's also giving you fantastic props. Thank you. Um, you sing and you, you connect with your audience from the heart. The emotion and passion are tangible. I can feel them. Um, music therapeutic for you? Put that in perspective for us. Unbelievably therapeutic. I think, uh, gosh, I've thought for many long years, uh, just the breathing aspect of being a vocalist for myself, that's, that's huge for me. But just, you know, Brian was saying that it goes in one ear and out the other as far as lyrics sometimes go. And I understand where he's coming from. And I feel like for myself, I've appreciated music that I could feel comfortable with doing that with, right? I wanna be able to turn on music and not let it offend my spirit without having to like watch every word that's being said, right? So I like to be able to go to artists that I could really rely upon for positivity. For me, mm -hmm. what I found in writing lyrics with the objective of, of, of trying to bring possibly negative into positive or, or something, speak something positive in general, it's actually helped to guide my life, right? It's actually given a foundation a little bit of, of a word to live by. So that's been something that's been therapeutic as well. For Fantastic, sure. we're gonna get dig deeper into this. Yes. We're gonna talk vulnerability how uh, you leverage vulnerability to pour your heart into the lyrics you write. We will, we will address that after the next song. Greg, you have a lot of people watching right now. You got people on Long Island, outside Philly, Long outside Island. the city. Uh, I'm born on Long watching Island. Right now. I, was, I was born in Massapequa, Long Island. You got Long Island watching right now. <laughs> nice, what's going on Long Island? Um, show is yours, sir. Song number two, anywhere you wanna go. All right, so uh, this next one, uh, in a similar vein, uh, it's called Tear Down Boxes. And so the idea is once again that we oftentimes create these mental um, boxes that we stick ourselves in and other people. And so the idea is to tear down boxes, take down these preconceptions and these pre notions, and see, see each other as one. So. Yes.
We've got to tear down boxes, yo, and break down walls, yeah. Tear down the box, yo, that bind us all. Tear down boxes, yo, and break down walls, yeah. Tear down the box, yo, that bind us all. Too many religions creating too many divisions, yo. Too many of those isms creating too many schisms, yo. So many boxes, yo, too many labels on. We've got to flip over the tables on, yeah. Tear down boxes, yo, and break down walls, yeah. Tear down the box, show that find us all. Tear down boxes, show and break down walls. Yeah. Tear down the box, show that find us all. No one people lives in ancient sea. Yo, no one love, one divinity. Mm. You got to know got your sovereignty. Yeah. One God, one aim, one destiny. Yeah. Tear down the box, show and break down walls. Yeah. Tear down the box, show that find us all. Tear down the box. Show break down walls, yeah. Tear down the box, show that find us all. As you go to the mountain top, yeah. And you don't know if this will ever stop, no. Now all you know is you got to seek the light. Now as you go to the mountain top, yeah, and you don't know if this will ever stop, no. And all you know, yeah, you got to seek the light. Brothers and sisters, give thanks and praise from the day on this creation. Give thanks and praise for life, you know? Mm, Lord of mercy. Tear down boxes, yo, and break down walls, yeah. Tear down the box, show that bind us all. Tear down boxes, yo, and break down walls, yeah. Tear down the box, show that bind us all. Tear down boxes, yo, and break down walls, yeah. Tear down the box, show that bind us all. Tear down boxes, yo, and break down walls, yeah. Tear down the box, show that bind us all. Yeah. So, so good. The great Susan Munson, uh -huh. who was on the program two Fridays ago, is watching right now. She says, you sound freaking amazing. Oh, Laura Jackson yes. says, what up, Daryl Rose from yes. Laura Jackson. Yes. Give it a like, give it a share, guys. We got Merrick, New York. Oh, in sweet, the house sweet. right that's now. Nice, nice. What's I going on, Merrick? That's the Greg Ward oh, yeah. influence that might, over here. Might, might have some family out there. <laughs> Talk to us about that tune, baby. Uh, that tune. Um, you know, some tunes, it just gets written. I can't, I can't explain it. You know what I mean? Uh, you go through time periods where, you know what I mean, you're not writing as much, and all of a sudden you get some inspiration just start writing. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, oftentimes I'll take the very first thing that comes into mind and try to start building off of that. And so I really honestly can't tell you specifically where that song came from, what it was being addressed to, if there was a specific subject in mind or a topic, uh, like world topic that was going on, a current day event. But it was just this, like I said, the idea of, I constantly see people um, being divided, you know, and I want, to, I want to be the alternative voice, all right? I want to be that alternative voice. If, if they're trying to be divided by the systems that be, then I want to be the alternative voice to, to say, hey, we can unify, we are one, we need to treat each other with love and respect, so. Love that. Brian, jump in here, baby. You're getting some props on your page right here. We're getting Jason Burke, nice jams, people. Susan's giving <laughs> you up, some Jason? serious love. You guys sound freaking amazing, Susan says. Give it a like, give it a share. A big Ray and the Cool Cats just shared the show, baby. And put your perspective in the chat box. I'll relay it to the fellas. Brian, jump in here about that song and the heady vibes you're feeling right now, baby. <laughs> I feel some so, heady vibes right now. <laughs> so again, I hate, hate to be that guy of space. Uh, but first of all, I agree with everything you said about division. And, you know, making efforts towards unity and you know I'm just sitting in with these guys and this is kind of my first time just uh, feeling everything out and you know 
no matter the song, no matter what I play in, in any genre of music, in any world music or jazz or anything, for me it's about making the music as best as it can be. And so whether that's the playing or the space that we create or the syncopation uh, or the how the colors fit into each other to affect the synergy of the group, um, that's my highest calling no matter what music that I play. And I love so it. That's what I'm all about. I love it. Andrew Holyfield's watching. Lord, he's a killer. What up, Andrew? Killer, killer player right there. He's nice. been on the show before. Sweet. Um, Mary Blake, welcome to the program. It's all about love, Susan says. Constance Wyatt from Alder Creek is watching. Daryl, music is the world's language. The healing. Let, let us not forget the healing yeah. is yes. what it's all about. Talk to us about that. The moment, and we'll deal with the place in which we live right now. We are healing right now. We're still going through a process. We were in the psychically attacked per se. So now we're, in, we're healing, and that comes with individuals, one-on-one -on -one conversation. The fear factor is difficult to overcome when one has been hurt. So it's like there's, the, there's a shame and there's embarrassment and there's anger. And we have to go through all of this, you know, almost together mm. to get through the process. From my experience, when the music starts, you feel no pain, as in Bob Marley, trench town rock, you see. Mm -hmm. And that is the common thread. I allude to the human aspect of it all. I love when it. one goes to Africa, which I've been fortunate to go to, in four, four countries, there was just, when you, wherever you went, it was, come on, we feed you, we give you a place to stay, we, we care. It was not this other side, it was just that. Mm. And that's what, you know, that's what we strive for. You're a cool dude, So man. the healing part of it. He's a cool dude. I just, right to, I just like, he's right on point. I'll quote Al Anderson from my early, my early Whaler days. I was like hanging with him in the dressing room, like talking about his solo at Vanderbilt when I first saw the Whalers. And he just said, thank you, sir. And he said, have fun. That's what Al Anderson told me nice. in, in Norfolk at that time in 2002 with the Whalers when I first started with them. I love it. Have I love fun. It. And we smile, and we smile all day long, man. When you make your passion, your profession, you don't work a day in your life. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's like, I've tried not to do things, but guess what, here I am. Let's put it that way. Um, Sharon Hughes-Taylor, love all these guys. Um, so your big Sharon. sis is giving you some props over there, Margaret. Uh, she <laughs> says, tell my little sister uh, hello, and then I'm sending some love. Davina Jackson. You guys are amazing. Yeah. Ezra Sorry, John know. Hamilton. DR, DR, DR <laughs> nice. from Ezra John Hamilton. Nice. Uh, give it a like, give it a share on any of the streams that you're watching here. Um, Greg, I love, I love, I love the vibes that are in the air right now. You guys are freaking rock stars. Lord Nelson is loving what they're hearing nice. right now. Um, you got the Jeff watching the show right now. Um, anywhere you want to go. We got a third song on the dock, on the docket. Where are we going? What you think about Daryl? Uh, let's see. Uh, 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 oh, Freebird. Check, oh, check the roof. Okay, nice. Yes, sir. That's it. All right. So another original song right here uh, called "Check the Root." I and, hate uh, to go back a minute, but that's you know, it. hate to keep on going. Uh, you know, I mean to whipping this horse, but uh, we'll whip the positive horse again. It's all about checking the root inside of ourselves and see that we're one. So. Thank you. 
That's right. One God, one root, one absolute. Check it. So check the root. Not the branches on the shoots. Check the root. You could tell by them fruits. Check the root. And seek the absolute. Check the roots of your soul. And see there's no dispute. And how far you want to go. I said most truth seekers get caught on the road. In a fantasy of their own ego. I keep going to the end. My brothers and sisters. Once again, give thanks and praise for all your blessings. You know, give thanks and praise for life. Everything you see as the root and same source. Everything is moving to that ultimate force. Good over evil must be our cause. The gold of your soul, a purified of dross. Moving through the desert to find the Eden one. Guided by the light of your solar system So check the root And not the branches on the shoots Check the root You could tell by them fruits Check the root And seek the absolute Check the root of your soul And see there's no dispute One time and you surely find Two times you have to make your mind Three times you start to unwind Keep going to the light that's surely shining Don't confuse the clothing with the man Don't amuse yourself with their misunderstandings Don't abuse your duty as a man And everyone's equal and we must overstand Check the rules and not the branches on the shoes Check the roots You could tell by the fruits Check the roots And seek the absolute Check the roots of your soul See there's no dispute
gentlemen, so good. Got freaking goosebumps right now. So effing good. Brian Combs, who handles bookings oh, nice. at Pro Renata's Watch It. Oh, he see. says, hello to, say hello to Greg for me. Nice, my buddy. I don't know the others, but I would love to have them out at Pro Renata. Nice. Uh, Brian Combs, good people. Yo, great people. Uh, great people. You get some props from Sharon Taylor. She says, whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> uh, Jason Burke, Daryl addresses a real truth for us. Music adds value and reminds us of unity. Great joy in hitting the note. Greg Ward, my friend, talk to us about that song, baby. Uh, <laughs> nice. Check the root. Um, I've been somebody who uh, grew up in a, in a, not a religious, religious household, but uh, religious enough, uh, you know, a church going and, uh, you know what I mean? Faithful in the in the search, I guess I would say, right? And so, uh, when I was when I was getting ready to graduate high school, I had a real dilemma in my in my heart and my head, where I felt like the uh, the doctrines that were being taught were teaching this is the one path, this is the one way, teach everybody this, or they're gonna go to hell. And I sure was happy to maybe have found something that seemed to have been truth, but it seemed to be, you know, what I mean, like I said, a dilemma. And I was seeing too much other beautiful people out there that I figured that there's no way in heck that, you know, I mean, this, this could be wrong or it could be, this could be right. And I went on, a, on a, you know, I mean, a real serious quest to really study all the world's religions that I could find. And uh, when it came down to it, really, truly, as, as, you know, I mean, Haile Selassie, you know, I mean, inspiration for the Rastafarian culture, you know, as he says, in the mystic traditions of all the religions, we are truly one. And I really have found that. So this is, that, that song, Check the Root, is about checking the root inside yourself and looking inside others and once again treating people as you want to be treated. I can totally relate to that. Um, was raised in a strict Southern Baptist family, went to a Catholic school for 10, 11 years, and grew up in a Jewish neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Melting pot of religion. Mm -hmm. And I think the essence of it all is to treat others with respect. Mm -hmm. And you do that then you're gonna make the world a better place. Religion is a lot of ritualistic um, aspects, and the end, the foundation, is about the golden rule. Back to you. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, and the fruits of your, of your spirit are gonna manifest in the things that you do every day. So you can't call yourself religious and then go treat somebody disrespectfully and rudely. You can't call yourself a morally guided country or people and do things that, 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 again, take away the rights of others. So, you know, just speaking as a general rule, we need to speak that clearly and plainly. If you're gonna really dictate a, a, a way of going about yourself and say that you're this, then the fruits of your life should reflect that. I love right? that. Daryl Rose, jump in here, baby. Let's see. Uh, in listening to the song, when I first heard it, it was like, it reminds me of sitting on my back porch, not the front porch, because on the front porch you see too much of civilization in cars and noise, but on a, you've been on my back, you've been on my back porch, mm. my backyard, back mm -hmm. there is like clarity, yeah. check the roots. Nature. So it reminds me of nature and being in tune with the forces of yeah. nature. The birds, the cats, the dogs, and various of, of the in insect world pay attention to rhythm. I have been on my back porch Pretty soon the birds are like, oh, nice attention. Mm -hmm. The cat lays on the ground and takes a nap while the drums are playing, you see. So the forces of nature and the whole, like I was saying, you know, just humor is a big one, for, you know, humor. We can laugh about this moment and have a smile on our face. That's what is important. So when we depart, we say, damn, we had a good time. I did. <laughs> You know, that's the main thing for we me. We are. Yeah, man. I love that. Yeah, we lift, we lift Rose. each other up, you know. <laughs> I love that, Brian. Lift that's a tough one to follow right there, dog. <laughs> Jump in here, homie. What's coming up for me is uh, checking into our roots. We aren't necessarily perennial plants in the places where we grew up. So I've moved and relocated my roots many times. Uh, searching for the things and the people and the cultures that I resonate with and the teachings that I'm looking for and um, roots get a little shock once you dig them up just like plants you dig them up and the roots get a little shock once you move from place to place but you can always reroot oneself somewhere else in an environment that feels appropriate nice. and so that's what it's kind of been the story of my life and uh, 
That's what makes me think about it. You this. follow with fire, Brian. Nice, dude. Man, this has got to be the deepest, the deepest, headiest bear we have ever had on the show. You guys are getting me so, thinking. Hey, man. Get me thinking. It's, it's you. It's you. You bring, you know, you bring the vibes. It's the catalyst. I can tell thank people are coming out to watch you, and you got a good, good spirit. Well, thank you for saying that. I'm just following your lead. Greg Ward, show is yours, my boy. Song numero cuatro. Which one do you want to do? Drum thing. Yeah, we're going to. Um, Play from the moment here. Okay. Maestro. Boom, pa, kiki, taka, boom, pa, kiki, taka, boom, pa, kiki, taka, boom, pa, kiki, taka, boom. <laughs> that was awesome. With the flip at the end is the exclamation point. Oh, my boy, that's, that's showmanship. You a performer, baby. Talk to us. Talk to us about what we just heard right there. That was, um, I just kind of calmed it out and you played it. <laughs> I just kind of it out. It's the moment. That was awesome. Um, to quote Miles Davis. Please. You never play it the same way twice. Mm -hmm. So if we kick that same thing in, blue, da ga doom, blah, dee dee dong, all of a sudden, la da da, la da da, la da da, Greg, Mike, Chang, boom, da chine, check, boom, ba ga ding, gang, la da da. It's different than the first time we played it. So it's like the excitement of every day, you see. It's a new song, you just sing a little bit differently. There you go. I yeah. love it. How many people have sang the national anthem in all the renditions? There you go. Something What's your like favorite that. rendition of the national anthem ever? Whitney Houston's oh. at the Super Bowl? Oh. R.I.P., baby. Know, to be truthful with you, I've never really paid a whole lot of attention to the, the national anthem at the Super Bowl. Okay. To be truthful, to just watch it and really see who nailed it, because there's so many of them that I, you know, I have to like, well, did Prince do it? Did he, he didn't do the national anthem. I'm saying that's how much I'm so removed from that. 
you know, it's just part of you know, the culture, but I, I don't know. I don't know who my favorite would be. I love it. Give it a like. Give it a Ray share. Ray Charles, guys. maybe. Maybe Janet Jackson. Yeah, maybe. You Remember know. that one yeah. right there? That was a good one. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you, <laughs> there you go. Okay. Sure. Sure yes, sir, I understand. One. What's that, Brian? I'm sure Ray did a killer one. Oh. Ray, that, yeah, I think Ray, Ray Charles. Ray does everything killer. Yeah, yeah right? I think Ray might be the born, you know. But then, you know, Ray Charles is singing country music also. That's a whole other plan that we can endeavor. Uh, Norva says, you guys sound so fantastic. I went out to check my chickens. Even they heard you. They all came running, so I sat down for a bit so they could listen with you guys, too. Norva. See that, Daryl? You were right. The, the, the animals the come a-calling. The nature, man. <laughs> yes. She says yeah, she's watching on the other side of the mountain. Guys, give the show Wait. a like and a share hey. on any of the channels you're watching. These guys are crushing, crushing, crushing. Uh, Carol Schwab Barnett is loving what she's hearing right now. Um, I want to hear another one, baby. Want to do another one? All right, Can we do another one? on you now if you want to, right. you know. How about a little Rasta Alchemist? All right. All right. Whoops. All right, original song right here, Rasta Alchemist. Sweet wine, fast food into fine dine. I turn earthly into paradise, and hard rocks into fluffy rice. Bad vibes into iriness, with a little love and some tenderness. I'm the Rasta alchemist, baby, don't you resist? No, I'm the Rasta alchemist. Love is what I consist of. I turn dog into God <clears throat> by turning the words around. I hear Jaja in the wind <clears throat> by listening for the sound. I turn lyrics into song by simply singing along. Jaja lives in my soul. So unto him I turn always, Rasta Alchemist. Baby, don't you resist, no. I'm the Rasta Alchemist. A love is what I consist of. Turn your light on. must flee when you shine your light on the wickedness love is what you'll see oh. now you are the creator and of your destiny so change your mind a point to love set yourself free rasta alchemist 
Baby, don't you resist, no I'm the roster alchemist A love is what I consist of Turn your lights on Baby, don't you resist, no I'm the Rasta Alchemist A love is what I consist of I'm the Rasta Alchemist yeah. Love is what I consist of Rasta Alchemist Baby, don't you resist, no I'm the Rasta Alchemist Baby, don't you resist, no I'm the Rasta Alchemist Love is what I consist of Yeah This song's got the hook It's got the hook Dang Amy Silpa giving you props Kristen Adams Morgan Mike Paul Alex Grossman Keith Harvey Crystal Curry Richard Cooper Brent Friendland, Loris Frabata, uh, Rahana nice McChristie, Sharon Taylor, Kay Ferguson, the list nice, goes Like we talked about in the beginning, like we talked about in the beginning of uh, the show, you know, one of my favorite things is just to come across the idea that you could be walking down the street and with a smile, you could touch somebody's heart, right, and 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 uplift it. And so the fact uh, of the idea of that that mustard seed, right, our actions can blossom into into abundance. You know, what I mean, it, it could really, you know, it, it could go outwards, not just from the person we touch, but the next person, the next person. And so, yeah, just this this idea of. Uh, Taking something that comes at us and seeing if we could, you know, I mean, develop a positive way to, to, you know, I mean, perceive it and then push that out. And then we could, again, bring more joy to ourselves and to others around us, hopefully. I love it. Carol says, such happy music for a gorgeous Friday in Central nice. Virginia. Brian, mm. jump in here, baby. Talk to us about that song. Uh, me and songs, man. Words. I'm, uh, you know, I can always piggyback on the excellent things that Greg says. I like to pass people in the street and smile at them, no matter if I'm in a small town or a big town. And uh, what goes through my mind is, you know, not everyone smiles back or even looks you in the eye, but it was the, the effort that I make to project that positivity, I think is the most important thing to cultivate. Well said, Daryl Rose. Yeah, joy, and I, how, how many years have I played Rasta, you know, alchemist with you each time. Yes. Just, yes. You know, audience and people are up. It just, just, this is joy. You know, coming to coming together like dance to survive, if that makes sense. Uh -huh. In the times in which we live. True. Right. The spirit, you know, we can elevate the spirit with like minds toward a common purpose or cause. You know, through dance, and we dance to survive. Reggae happens to be part of it, and then reggae is the blues with African rhythms. You see. So I love it's, it. it's I upliftment love it. for everyone, the joy of it, to go, go through whatever it is, but we're coming out on the other side, bright and shiny. You know what I mean? Yeah. I love it. Glenn yeah. Harrop, welcome to the show. Phil's Templeton of Corner with a K Restaurant. Constance Wyatt, welcome to the show. Musician Vincent Zorn watching right now. Give it a like, give it a share. Mr. Crystal Vincent. Curry says, teach, Daryl Rose, teach. Oh, bless your heart. Uh, I'm still learning. <laughs> the show has been so awesome. We will archive the show in totality on ilovesebill.com. We will turn this show into a podcast on Apple iTunes and put it everywhere for the next month. You can listen to this show, post show, and engage with it. I would be remiss if I didn't beg, plead, and get down on my knees and ask for an encore. Can we do one more, please, Joe? Yes, sir. What do you want to do? You, yes, want, to, you want to start off with a little, uh, with some drums first? Yeah. Uh, it's up to you. We got some minutes. Bagaruka, uh, bagaruka. Bagaruka, ti, kageruka, ti, kageruka, ragaruka, 
Everything is nice, nice, sweet, sweet, light, light, bright, bright. Thanks in praises, thanks in praises. Everything is nice, nice, sweet, sweet, bright, bright, light, light. Thanks in praises, thanks in praises. Sweetness entering my soul, John, John. Entering the gate, don't you be late, don't you be late. When Jah Jackal, don't you be late, no sweetness. Entering my soul, Jah Jah. Entering the door, tell me now what, what is in store, baby? Now what is in store? And everything is nice, and everything is sweet, everything is right, and everything is light. When you give thanks and praises. Thanks and praises, and everything is nice, and everything is sweet, and everything is right, and everything is light. When you give thanks and praises, thanks and praises. So some men will put their careers before family and closest friends. Tell me now what, what is the end? What is it? Some men put family before John ja, ja, God the Almighty, that is not right. You got to seek light, and all else will come after right. And everything is nice, and everything is sweet. Right, right, light, light. Thanks in praises. Thanks in praises. And everything is nice, and everything is sweet. Everything is right, and everything is light. Thanks in praises. Thanks in praises.
with their careers before family and closest friends. Tell me now what, what is the end? Tell me now what is the end? Yeah, some men put family before Jaja. God the Almighty, that is not right. We've got to seek light, and all else will come after right. And everything is nice, nice, sweet, sweet, bright, bright, mm, light, light. Mm. Thanks in praises. Thanks in praises. Nice, nice, sweet, sweet, mm, bright, bright, mm, light, light. Mm. Thanks in praises. Thanks in That's what I'm talking about, fellas. Ray Boy. Mr. Del Rose, Mr. Brian. Gosh, gentlemen, where can we learn more about the band? Uh, well, this, this particular setup right here is what, Pantera? The Pantera Tribe. Tribe dot, is it, is it on a dot org or dot something no, yet? On okay, so you can go on Facebook and look up uh, P-A-N-T-H-E-R-A, -E Pantera Tribe. Um, Myself, Greg Ward. I also have a website, gregwardmusic.com. Greg I'll be performing tonight at Barrel House down in Arrington. Nice. So if anybody, if anybody wants to come out, love to have you guys hang out. Um, Daryl and I play another group called Positive Collective. Yeah, we work. And, yeah, uh, man. So, you know, My buddy Robinson Hubbard. Rob Hubbard is the man. He's good people. Oh, he's good people. Yeah. And he plays with Davina, right? Yeah. And uh, Davina is a longtime reggae uh, performer in the area. She performed with Daryl. Um, yeah, with the Whalers. Oh, with the Whalers. Yeah. And so we got a big reggae community in this area. And then yeah. Brian, the two of us, we're working on a new original music project. It's okay. Sweet, yeah. sweet, sweet. We're working Talk on about that. Well, hey, we're at my house, your instrument. <laughs> was, I, don't, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, I play a UFO looking instrument called the Rav Vast. It's a, in the handpan family. Okay. And then I play the West African young man's guitar called the Kamalai Ngoni. Okay. Ten string gourd lute harp. And we we just sit down in, in the cottage and just play, right? And then we went and, nice. and played in at you know in my house. So I, I said, this is original, original music, and that's what we're doing. I love it. Sweet. Thank you. We don't it. have a, a name or but it's original music right now. You guys, just the moment. We're on yeah, you go. fire today. Thank you. you crushed the show today. Hey, thank um, you for having us, Jerry. Our pleasure. You made our day brighter. Um, we Thank will you. archive this show in totality <laughs> on ilovesevil.com. Okay. You can watch it. You can listen to it. We will put it on Apple iTunes today. So you can put your earbuds in and take the band with you wherever you go. Sweet. Um, Harris Tolber, Lauren Linsky, Judah Wickhauer, who's on vacation. He sits over there. Lauren Linsky, producers of the program. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we close the program the same way every, every, every single day. And it's a lot of what Greg Ward and Brian and Daryl embody. And we ask you to embody the golden rule. We ask you to treat other people the same way you want to be treated yourself because it will have an incredibly positive impact across your community in Charlottesville and Central Virginia. And the country need that more than ever. Yes. It's the golden yes. rule, guys. My name is Jerry Miller. I will be back here on Monday at 1230. Um, sharing heady positive vibes in the best of Charlottesville, Virginia through the I Love Seville show. Get after it this weekend. Be safe this weekend. Take care, guys. Thank you, sir. Crush it. Did you, we, we, did, oh we, did, we, did, we did. Oh, my gosh. There you go. Yeah, that, was, that was very cool. Took it. Grateful.
for your most precious yeah. time, your time. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Love you, homie. Hey, Seriously. Thank you. It was so fun. That was very positive. Yeah. So fun. Thank you. Thank you.